Well, hello, hello, hello. This is Victoria Lowe with Very V Low Beauty. And of course, another video means another color. I've been going for a minute, but I am happily back. But before I get into that, I want you to do me a favor. If you love me, go ahead and click this subscribe button. We are almost at 10K. You know I want y'all to show up, show out. Go ahead and click it. But anyway, I am here with a much anticipated video on the lipstick bullet. I know we are always doing liquid matte lipsticks. That is what I love to do. But... I love you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do a lipstick bullet. First, I'm gonna start off with one tablespoon of the Carnaba Wax. And then right after that, I'm gonna go in with a tablespoon of the Candelilla Wax. And then shortly after that, I'm gonna go in with a teaspoon of the Candelilla Wax. Of course, you guys know that this wax needs to be more structured, more solid in order to be able to conform to the lipstick mold because that's what we are putting it in. So we are using more wax than we would usually use. Now it's time to add our oils. I'm going to be going in with two tablespoons of castor oil. Yes, it is the main ingredient, you guys. This is the only oil that cannot be substituted. Any other oil I use can be substituted with a thinner oil of your choice, but not the castor oil. And you can even substitute or double up on any of these oils with the castor oil. Next, I'm going to go in with one teaspoon, one tablespoon, I'm sorry, of the sweet almond oil. And shortly after that, I'm going in with a tablespoon of the avocado oil. And lastly, I'm going in with a tablespoon of the coconut oil. And what you want to do is allow these oils to melt down together and give it a stir or a whisk. Whatever you have will suffice. And we're just going to melt everything down to a liquid state. That means no wax particles should be seen. Just one liquid bowl of oil. <laughs> liquid. <laughs> you know what I mean. But anyway, you take the bowl and you transfer it to another glass bowl when it's hot like this you don't want to transfer it to anything plastic bpa free of course but you're going to transfer this to a plastic bowl and you are going to cover it with a lid i got these little bowls from the dollar tree they are very convenient they come with a glass bowl and a lid so i'm covering my bowl and then i'm going to sit that to the side Next, you guys, I'm going to grab our lipstick mold. I will be sure to link everything in the description box below that I used today so that you can grab a hold of yours. So I'm going to basically take this apart. And what I'm going to do after I disassemble this mold, I'm going to take an oil, a thin coating of oil on a Q-tip, and I'm just going to go in throughout the mold just oiling all of the crevices of the mold so that our lipstick will not have any problems sliding out when it has formed so that's what you see me doing now i'm just taking some oil and just coating the mold
so now what you want to do is take your lipstick tube I'm choosing this cute little tube and you want to go ahead and screw it all the way up Now I'm just going to go ahead and grab my little shot glass beaker. That's what I'm going to be using. And I'm still going to continue to use the double boiler method. And I'm going to be adding about a teaspoon of our base to this beaker to melt it down and to incorporate everything together. So I got my base. You guys, this base is available for purchase. And this is the Very Velo Lipstick Bullet Base. I have that for sale as well, just in case you don't want to make it, you know, I got you, I got you. But yes, I'm going to go in with this in the quantity of a one teaspoon. Now let's go ahead and talk about coloring. I'm going in with my Very Velo Beauty Liquid Concentrate. This is a new product that is available on my website. All of these are concentrated lake dyes as well as oxides and they are all lip safe. Now I know TKB has concentrates but you guys I don't want you to be confused. I believe those are used for soaps and they are all they are not all lip safe. So make sure you do your research and read. But mine's here at Very Velo Beauty, they are lip safe. So I'm going in with a half of a te teaspoon. I use two quarters, which is a half of a teaspoon of the white liquid concentrate and you can purchase all of these on my website. Now you guys, I'm going in with the Very Vila Beauty Red Liquid Concentrate and I'm going in with a quarter of a teaspoon of this. And I am adding these to my beaker. Now I'm going in with the Very Velo Beauty Pink Liquid Concentrate and the pink does look like the red in the bottle but they do not look the same as far as color payoff is concerned. So I just don't want to confuse you guys but this is the pink and I'm going in with half of a teaspoon of the pink. I just want to say you guys that on my website these concentrates are available in a two ounce size. I am just using these half ounce bottles for demonstrational purposes or what have you. But yes, they will be much bigger than this. Okay, now I'm going in with half of a teaspoon of the Very Velo Beauty yellow liquid concentrate and half of a teaspoon Okay, now that I have gotten all of the ingredients inside of the beaker, I'm gonna let it sit in the double boiler to melt. 
But right when I got it to melt, started to melt, I realized that I wanted to add another quarter of a teaspoon of the Very Velo Beauty Pink, just to give it the right amount of pigment so that we can have a good color payoff. Cause y'all know we don't like no weak lipstick. Okay, so now that I have gotten all of the wax and all of the color additives melted down to a certain point, I'm going to go ahead and mix with this cute, helpful hand mixer. I'll be sure to link it in the description box below where I purchased mine, but it is really great and it does a great job in mixing things fast and incorporating everything equally and evenly in a small space because this beaker is very very small but i wanted to use this beaker because it has a spout so it'll be easy for me to just pour it into our mold and as you can see it is creamy now so i want to be able to get that down or liquefied i want to get it to more of a liquid consistency so that it can easily pour into our mold but as you can see look at that color payoff so bomb but I did go ahead and put the beaker back into the double boiler just so that it can melt a little bit longer for a little bit longer and I'm also gonna go ahead and place a bowl on the top of that beaker so that the beaker doesn't hop around because it is so small you kind of need to put a little something over it to keep it down but before I do that, I want to go ahead and add in a half of a teaspoon of castor oil because sometimes you will notice that it will start to get creamy and that is not what we want. We want it to be liquefied. So that just kind of helps us get it to go liquid a little bit faster. We are officially back 15 minutes later and this is exactly what we want to see. We want it liquefied so that we can be able to easily pour it into our mold. I lost a little bit of footage but once you pour it into the mold in its liquid consistency, not cream you guys, you want to make sure it's melted all the way down. Once it's melted, you pop it in the fridge for about 30 minutes. It really doesn't take 30 minutes, it actually takes 15. But being that I am super scary, <laughs> I, wanted to, I wanted it to really form. So I left it in there for about 30 minutes and this is what it came out. Another tip is the lipstick will have like little, like one little hole down the center and that'll, that'll, that's another indicator that it is ready. So I just got a scraper. I got this little scraper out of the arts and crafts section from the Dollar Tree and I scraped the excess off and I removed the top and just like that you guys, we have made a bullet lipstick. Oh my gosh, we did it. What can't we do though, seriously? So I'm just gonna go ahead and take my prepared lipstick um, tube, make sure that it's twisted all the way up and you're gonna gently kind of like push the tube down to collect the um, bullet. So once you push it down, you're really supposed to push it all the way down, but I was a little afraid. So that's for the future. You want to push it all the way down to the bottom and you want to gently do it. And once you, and once it's down, you're basically going to pick it up gently. It will gently slide out and there you have it. You have created your own lipstick. And look at that color payoff, you guys. It is so beautiful. I am so proud of myself. And I can't wait to see 
your creations as well. We going to new levels. I know some of y'all been kind of doing this lipstick mode. I know I'm a little behind, but that's all right. You know, I be seeing your DMs and your pictures, and I'm so proud of y'all because we are the lipstick gang. Like, we, what can't we do? But yes, you can go on my website. You can purchase any of these color additives. These are the liquid concentrates, you guys. You can get these. You can get all of these. I have a bundle deal. And also, if you want to get the Fairy Velo Lipstick Bullet Base, you see the difference between this base and the other base is wider. That's because it is heavy, you guys. And I just want to thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching and all of your support. Be blessed, you guys.